Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Jabzo. Today I'm going to take you through the process of creating a PayPal account in Ghana and verifying it. Actually, in Ghana, it is not included in the list of PayPal that you should have an account. But there is a way you can do it. And I've done it and I'm going to take you through that process right now. So, without talking much, let's get started. If you've never subscribed to my channel, kindly do so by subscribing for more videos. And if you are not new here, Charlie, welcome back again. Let's do this. So you first click on sign up. Since you don't have an account, we'll choose business account. So from business account will allow you to load you type in the email i'm not using my official email here because my official email has already been registered on paper So yeah, I advise to use a strong password here. So it's your business registered a registered business and LLC corporation partnership or charity name. It's your business name. So Joe for your use symbol instead of my own name. So for the phone number, you can type your Ghana's phone number. Street name Navrongo. So since they've limited me to only states in the United States, I'll just choose one of them, which is the capital. And then, let me check if it's compulsory or not first. Alright, so it's compulsory to choose a state. I'll pick Washington. Agree. And I would advise that you read the user policy and everything before you agree because this is dealing with your finances and you wouldn't like anyone to tamper with it or have charges that are outrageous against your will. So you have to go through it yourself in order to get comfortable with it. And if you're okay with it, you can then proceed. So business type, sole proprietorship. I just pick something close by. So this is a question for S S and that's your card last number. When you have a Visa card or MasterCard, the last number here. So that one, you have to go to the bank and apply for it. And they will give it to you.
So while I wait, it it will load for you. Then first, what do you sell? We we'll just go through them as per what you do with it, what you are gonna be doing with the account. Okay, take payments on up single transactions. Then from there, who you are on your dashboard, so it's gonna download, uh, load for you. And this is your dashboard which you are having. So in order to complete everything, first you have to go to your email, which I'm doing that on my phone right now. And confirm your email address so you do that on your email I'm I'm currently I'm doing that on my phone for security reasons and when you are done you can go to for instance send my before you can use the account you have to first link it up with a, a bank and with this one, you have to go to a bank, a registered bank in Ghana. I use GCB. You can use any other bank that you want. Okay, so this is where I was talking about. You go to banks, you go to banks and listen to link up your bank. In case you are not linking the bank directly because you are not in the years, you go to cards. Then from card, you link up your Visa card. So this, you have to go to the bank. I use GCB Bank in Ghana and you can equally use it. So just go, this is. This is your card number, which you type here. If you are using either Mastercard or Visa card, then the security code is what is written over here. And you also type it over here. Then the expiry date and everything, which is also indicated on the card. So basically, that's how you create a PayPal account, and it works. You can use it for your transactions and everything. I hope this video is of value to you. Can you do me a favor by subscribing to my channel? It's really gonna help me and gonna help you get updates whenever I release new videos. So, without talking much, let's end this video. Bye bye.